I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. And this is Natalie and Tara Try Stuff, a show in which we try stuff for the first time. And today we're whittling spoons! Yay! First, before we get started, we want to thank our subscriber, uh, Johnny Mayo, for sending us these whittling kits. They are spoon carving kits. We have started an Amazon wish list in lieu of doing like Patreon or any of those other things and asking you for money. We ask you to send us things for us to try on the channel. So link below if you want to help the channel out. Also, a, uh, another thank you to a mysterious benefactor who sent us the wood to whittle um, and a very nice note, but they didn't leave their name. If it was you, please let us know. Otherwise, thank you so much. I got this idea from a friend of mine who makes wooden spoons and she teaches this class. It's amazing. She has a fantastic Instagram account and all these fun pictures of them like making it and there's all these classes and I wanted to do it, but we just never really could work it out. So instead, we're gonna try doing it by ourselves because that's the next rational move. We have no idea what we're doing. We got this. Let's do it! Okay. <laughs> we got a friend of ours to cut these down into shape of a spoon so that we don't have to do all the, the heavy lifting to begin with. I think you're supposed to draw your spoonage. Oh, the, the, um, the, um, s scoop? <laughs> scoop? I mean, this part's already done. The, 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 yeah. So it's a side here. Like that you need to, to draw your scoop shape. <laughs> okay, okay. Was there anything in here? No. Great. <laughs> cool. This is just the tools you need. Okay. I mean, I don't think there's really like Ooh. rules. All right. Let's... I mean, let's get my let's get my computer. Okay. Let's look at a, a, a diagram. Yeah. yeah or like a let's thing. Look, at, look at like a like a like one of those little how-to ones where there's pictures. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's yeah, do that, and then we'll we'll see how far we can get with this limited knowledge. How to carve a wood. Maybe I just write how to carve a spoon. I think wood is implied. Making a spoon is easy. Start with a piece of wood and remove everything that doesn't look like a spoon. Is that really the instructions? And I just took a picture with my nose. I saw. So everything is coming at Millhouse right now. Wait, that's the instructions? <laughs> no, it's quote. Sketch out the inside of the bowl freehand. So we should do that part. Leaving a rim of about 1 16th of an inch. With the bowl of your spoon carved, it is time to move around to the back. Yep. Very important, keep checking the thickness. Pro tip, I would recommend keeping the bowl thicker on your first couple of spoons. One sixteenth of an inch, because you want to leave at least one sixteenth of an inch, it says. That's my spoon. That's my, that's my, that's my Scooby. That this is my sidey, and then. I don't think then... they can see that. Did I? What's wrong? I just I don't know what to do. No, that looks right. And then and then what do I want to do with my? Whatever you want. Is that right then? Looks good to me. Yeah. Okay, we're Let's gonna carve. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Make a mess. This right, is the so... spoon. This is the this is the spoon maker. That's the only thing that makes this kit a spoon making kit. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Okay. I'm so scared. Okay. I'm just gonna start in the middle because I know it's it's okay. Oh god, I'm glad I have gloves on. I already, already. I think I need a other-handed kit. <laughs> Cause I want to go the opposite direction. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe I'm gonna do it this way. This is never gonna get. I'm just gonna take a little, little yep. itty, bitty, itty bitty chunks. I'm just going tiny, <laughs> tiny little bits at a time. I don't know who those people are where they're like taking out huge chunks. I was trying. It Today is crazy. <laughs> We're gonna be here forever. Yep, this is gonna be forever. <laughs> this is my life now. Sure. I'm not doing anything! <laughs> I'm not making any wrong. Oh, this is... <laughs> this is stupid and I hate you. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a big chunk coming here. I don't think this is how this is supposed to work. My arm's already tired. <laughs> I'm definitely, definitely not doing that right. <laughs> that I know is not right. What if I made a flat spoon? that's like shaped right, because I used the other knife just to shape it, and then I give up on this whole carving a bowl part. Okay, wait, he's gonna use the other knife. Hold on, Ooh. no, he's, oh, he's going around oh. with the other knife, doing, <gasps> doing that. What if I just do this? What if I make really big cuts in here, yeah. and then I try to come through with that other thing? <laughs> I'm gonna f give up on this like in two seconds. I'm Are not, you really? I'm like, no, this is so infuriating. This is not the proper way to do this. Nope. Who do we know that makes spoons? Can we phone a friend? Like, 
Okay. Let's I'm... get Townsend on the phone. I know that they know oh, people yeah. who make knives. Yeah, yeah. Mother of... Why is it so warm here? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting hot. I'm so unhappy. <laughs> Tara is probably gonna get killed today. <laughs> this is never gonna be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the title of this one as We Didn't Die. <laughs> okay, this is concaved. So technically, it could be a spoon now. There is enough room that I could put soup in this, so this is actually a spoon, so therefore I'm done. I wanted to carve the other part of it now. I'm bored with this I know, part. like, <laughs> I'm hot. I have to take off my, my over things. I don't know This is absurd. So Why am I so I warm? <laughs> Hello to the people. I have a sharp pointy knife in my hand. You're peeling potatoes over there. Well, yeah, I'm like looking at how far I have to go. And this is like easy to carve wood. Oh my God. <laughs> what are your other options? Impossible to carve wood? All right, we're getting close to my- Calling it for the day. Your patience level with this. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't hit it already. I'm getting there. You really are. <laughs> Yours looks good. Mine looks like something that Smeagol would make. Smeagol. <laughs> what has happened in your world <laughs> that you think Smeagol's whittling? <laughs> it's, it's like he needs something, some device to still feel like a, like a hobbit. And so he makes this sad spoon and it gives up around here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ow. I'm sure you can tell <laughs> by the changing of the light that it's now so much later. This is as far as we've gotten. Huzzah. So we're going to, we're going to... Put a pin in it? And we'll be back. We'll come back and finish this up on another day. Cut to that. <laughs> day two, spoon making happening now. All right, it's been a week or so. We are back here to do this. We're still at the carving stage, but um, yeah, let's uh, just dig in on that. Yeah, I did uh, find something else out. Uh, do not carve against the grain. I, I definitely think I've been doing this wrong. Yeah, I think if you just have to make a deeper hole, because yeah. you just go with the grain on the rest of it. Yep. But um, pro tip. Pro tip. Winchester, are you gonna chase the bits that I throw on the ground? Yeah. Winchester, don't come near me. Why does a cat always want to come near you when you have a sharp object? I think I'm also Winchester, doing you are hard. in the danger zone. Hey, you're gonna die today, cat. My goal is for us to finish these today. <laughs> is that gonna happen? I don't know. Goal number two is to not cut ourselves. Oh, I like that goal a lot. <sighs> Arm's already tired. <laughs> I just imagine me breaking this in half right now because of the amount of pressure that I was putting on it. It's like, how f mad would I be? How mad would I be? That would be some great YouTube content, though. It'd be like the girls burning their hair off. Uh-huh. Am I gonna come down this way at all in the front? Beside, beyond rounding it, do I wanna go just a little bit, shave a little bit down? Maybe, yeah. But I want it completely flat there. I need to look at a spoon. <laughs> I actually have the same problems. Like, I can't visualize a spoon I'm gonna right go now. Get, I'm gonna go get some spoons. Okay. Yeah, the top of them. Oh. I mean, this one does come down, but I definitely need to, but it says on your first one, leave it thick. Okay. So don't, we're not gonna, we're not aiming for this. I'm just trying to figure out what the shape needs to be. This neck keeps getting thinner because I keep. Yeah, you should leave that alone. Yeah. I'm gonna just stop touching it. But every time I do the back of this, I keep jamming well, what, I just, into I it. I just almost yeah. poke my eye out, Tara. Oh my God. When I did that, because my neck still has that dimple there, I had yeah. to hold it up here so that I would not yeah, do so it. Yeah, so you know? do that. That looks really good. I'm done. I have to call it. Yeah. I mean, it looks like it's been I don't mean, chewed. yeah, I didn't mean that. That sounds, <laughs> yeah, is that all you're gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks like it's been chewed on. It does. We, we don't know what's gonna happen once we, Wait, look, look, I like, look, I like look your bowl. Right there. There's like this dent where I, mm. I like the bowl. You okay. may be able to smoothie, smoothie that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, this, 
that neck is gonna break the first time I stir pasta. And like, look at the back, I can't get rid of the whale hump. It's just gonna have to live there. It does look like a whale hump. It does, right? <laughs> if you just get rid of the rest of it, it's a whale. <laughs> I found their true purpose. Um, okay, so are we doing this today? I mean, we can try for it. How long could it possibly take? A lot of beginners think that sanding is gonna sanding is gonna fix all of their problems, and that with sandpaper, all the holes and tear outs and fuzzies are going to disappear. This is true to an extent. Only if you spend about twice as the amount of time sanding as you did carving and use proper grit of sandpaper. Side by side. <laughs> Yours is so crooked. <laughs> like, how did you even get the wood to go that direction? I don't know. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just put them side by side, and I just this one like is doing that. Are we still in focus? Uh, yeah. Watch this be all out of focus. Probably the whole thing is par for the course. <laughs> And then you get to scrap this episode so no one ever has to see your spoon. You're so mean! <laughs> we made spoons. We did it. They're not done. No. We need to finish them. And I didn't even think about this ahead of time. I was a, I was very caught up in the carving of the thing. Yeah, yeah. Not the like being able to use the thing later. No, no, no. It was all about making it. So uh, we've looked it up and it looks like an olive oil or mineral oil is what we're thinking about mm -hmm. to seal it. <laughs> I think yours might need a beeswax oil. Mine needs a flame. <laughs> it's That's adorable! So, it's just so bad! It's not so it's bad! It's so crooked! You know what? It's not actually crooked. Like, it is parallel to the ground. It's just that it's missing a, it's missing a chunk, which makes it look like it's crooked. I'm sorry. I'm gonna quit interrupting the important part of the video, which is mineral oil. Continue. So... We don't know which one to use. Uh, right. and so we're gonna ask you guys, hey, guys, do you know what we should use and how to finish these spoons? How? You guys always have great suggestions and information. Yeah, because the, the 10 minutes that I just spent on the computer was not enough for me to make an answer. I'm leaning towards mineral oil or olive oil. But um, I think we might reach out to Townsend's, yeah. the Townsend's crew, mm -hmm. um, and see if they have some answers, because I know they have some wood card spoon, and I think I saw that Kyle was carving a yeah. spoon recently. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sure that they have some answers. All right, we're gonna end that. We're gonna end this here. Before we go, we wanna do a quick thank you to... to Johnny Mayo and to the person who sent us the boss wood, but with just a very nice note, but um, no name. Thank you both. Uh, and if you wanna help out the channel, link below to our Amazon wish list. I was to say playlist. No. No. Wish list. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. And this was Natalie and Tara Try Stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell, and uh, I'm gonna do some close-up pictures of this on Instagram so you can see exactly how bad this Wait, is. Wait, let's insert beauty shots oh, now. Oh yeah, let's do a beauty shot. <laughs> Giant air quotes. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> you suck. <laughs>